Welcome to Maths Online. This is private tuition in mathematics. Now, who would benefit from this? Well, just about every student needs some help on a regular basis. And this provides online maths tuition for a student to learn independently. And with the help of this program, you can see results and attitude improve very quickly. Now, this program has been specifically designed to help students, teachers, and parents. Let's see how it works. Your child types their name and password to log in. They enter the program at the point where they last left off. The lessons are set out in year groups based on the Australian curriculum, starting from kindergarten and going right through to year 12. Each year is split up into streams, and each stream contains a number of different topics. Every topic has a comprehensive list of lessons that your child can work through, either in the suggested sequence, or they might want to choose a lesson that they're having problems with at school. That's fine. Time to see the program in action. Let's take a look at a lesson on fractions, and we'll pick a lesson that traditionally most kids find very difficult. Now in this lesson on fractions, we're going to look at addition with different denominators. Let's consider two-thirds plus one-quarter. Okay, the three and the four on the bottom there, they're the denominators, they're different. So let's do a diagram firstly. The two-thirds, let's split up our first hole into thirds, shade two of them, okay? So two-thirds shaded in a similar way. Let's break this one up into fours, shade in one of them. So one-quarter is shaded. Now we need to add those two parts there, okay? We're going to add them together somehow. Now what we do, the three and the four, because the denominators are different, we need to think what number would 3 and 4 both divide into? Well, the number would be 12, okay? Both 3 and 4 divide into 12. So we're going to break up each of the shapes into 12 pieces. Now, because they are broken up into 12s, we, we're dealing with 12ths. So we're going to start moving from the right. Let's move it across, okay? Each piece across. And now we can see that once we've added them, we get 11 twelfths, okay? We've got 11 pieces out of 12 shaded. So 11 twelfths is our answer. Now, let's go back to the diagram there. Two thirds plus a quarter. Let's see how we go without a diagram. Okay, let's see if we can do some working out. So two thirds plus a quarter. Again, we talked about what number does three and four both go into. We said 12. So we're going to be dealing with twelfths. So we're going to change each fraction to be over 12. Now, our first fraction there, two thirds, the bottom number 3, how do we change that to become 12? Well, we do by multiplying by 4. And if you multiply the bottom by 4, we multiply the top by 4 as well. Our second fraction, which was a quarter, had 4 as a denominator. So how do we change that 4 to a 12? We do by timesing by 3. Again, if we times the bottom by 3, let's times the top by 3 as well. So we've got 2 times 4, that's 8. And 1 times 3 is 3. So we've changed the fractions. We've changed the 2 thirds and we've rewritten it as 8 twelfths. And you can see from the diagram, yes, 2 thirds is the same as 8 twelfths. And the 1 quarter we changed to be 3 twelfths. And again, our second diagram shows that as well. 1 quarter is exactly the same as 3 twelfths. Now it's easy. If you've got 8 twelfths and you add another 3 twelfths, well, how many twelfths have you got? You've got 11 twelfths. Okay, and 11 twelfths matches up with our answer at the top there just as well. Okay, if it didn't match up, we'd be in real trouble. What you have just seen and heard is what really makes this unique program so much more effective than any other program. Excellent, clear, spoken explanations with simple, concise diagrams. Kids are not only seeing the concepts unfold, but hearing it at the same time. Research has proven this double hit of seeing and hearing is so vitally important. Your child can really focus in on what's being taught. Plus, there are no distractions like there often is in a classroom of 25 other kids. Taking a look at the video controls. These give your child the ability to pause, rewind or fast forward the lesson. This ability to stop and rewind the teacher is very powerful. You see, in class, plenty of kids get embarrassed or are just too shy to put their hand up to ask a question if they don't understand something. Now look, it shouldn't be this way, but unfortunately for lots of kids, it is. And the result is they fall behind. They start thinking maths is too hard and it's a giant blow to their self-confidence. 
So you can see why this type of learning, where that very real pressure is taken away from kids, is so effective. Your child is in complete control of the pace of the lesson. When the lesson is completed, there is an option to print a lesson summary, excellent for keeping in a folder and reviewing later on. Then it's time to practice what they've just learnt. The interactive questions are designed specifically to reinforce what they've just seen and heard. These give the kids immediate feedback on their level of understanding. The questions are graded in difficulty, starting with the easier types and, as the kids show mastery at that level, the difficulty level is automatically adjusted. End result? The kids benefit from a very positive and effective exercise. They can print out their results if they wish, put them in a folder and it gives you a chance to give them a pat on the back. And we know just how well the kids respond to encouragement. They can work towards certificates. We've designed them so that the kids do need to earn them over a period of time. So when they do earn them, make a big deal about it. Praise them for their efforts. It's really important. Now, a lot of the lessons also have worksheets designed specifically to reinforce what they've just learnt from the tutorial. Let's just talk about the approach taken here. It's very deliberate. We encourage using the traditional pen and paper method to work out and answer the questions rather than just always typing answers into the computer. Now why do we do that? A critical skill that is often overlooked in most other online programs is that students still need to be able to set their work out in clear, logical steps. This skill needs to be constantly worked on as it makes up a large section of any of the important exams. We encourage students to set out their own solutions like the way they saw in the lesson. Once they get an answer, they write it down on the worksheet and then look for the answer in the answer box. This is where all the answers are jumbled up and they have to find theirs. In this particular case, the letter B. These letters are used for entering results later on to be marked. They continue on to complete the exercise. Now, it's fantastic when the students start producing this sort of work themselves. Once the worksheet is completed and corresponding answers have been found, time to enter them. Simply type in the letters that are marked on their worksheet, press Submit, and the answers are marked automatically. In this example, a score of 88%. A message here to try again, noting that any incorrect answers are highlighted to help identify what needs fixing. In this case, the answer to question 6 was wrong. Now, here's another important step in the whole learning process. The student looks back at their work and tries to figure out for themselves what went wrong. Let's have a look at this case. Now, the first part is fine, no problems there. The second part, oh, well, that plus should have been a minus. So let's fix that up. That changes, and then that changes. So the final answer is 12. They can then submit their corrected answer, and they would then get 100%. But let's say they weren't quite able to find out by themselves what went wrong. No problem. They simply look at the work solutions that are provided to see where the mistake was made. Now, this is a fantastic feature. It's such a powerful learning tool and is only available after the student has attempted the worksheet first. The nature of some topics, especially in the higher end courses, do not lend themselves easily to multiple choice type answers. Proofs in geometry, an example. In these cases, after completing the worksheet, the student then views the work solutions with marking scheme to self-assess their level of mastery, entering a percentage mark themselves. Now, in recent times, the biggest obstacle we've identified stopping a lot of parents getting involved in helping their kids with maths is the concern that it's taught differently now. It's not the same as it was when we were at school. Well, this program overcomes that very real obstacle as it allows the parents to see and understand how their kids are being taught. And we get plenty of feedback from surprised parents saying that they're enjoying the lessons just as much as their kids are. Now, how much is all this going to cost? Well, a 12-month membership to Maths Online is just $197. A family membership, just $297. So for less than $1 a day, you can give your kids the help they need. Unlimited access to the whole kindergarten to year 12 program. That's more than 1,410 lessons and always available at a convenient time to suit the family. And this does work. We've been helping families first with our CD-ROM programs and then with the new improved online programs for more than 12 years now. And the greatest thing we hear, what parents keep telling us again and again, is the amazing improvement in self-confidence of their children. And this increase in self-confidence also impacts in a very positive way their attitude and performance across other things as well. And what do you think that's worth? 
Well, that's priceless.